Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I've been posting. I've been getting so many questions on how I curl my hair or how I do my hair. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. So first I'm going to start by sectioning my hair and I typically don't go all the way down to the bottom because I don't want really, because my hair is short, I don't want really kinky hair because I want the length to stay and I feel if my hair is too tight that I, f I look like um, pretty much a cotton ball and it's not really cute and because my face is so round I really want to elongate it so I keep my ends a little bit straighter. So first thing you need to know is that I always, around the face, I always curl the hair backwards and then from there on out I rotate the curls. So I start with one this way, for instance, like this, and I don't curl that in too much. And the next one I will go in. And I just keep doing that until it's time for the next section. So, one this way, next one this way. I kind of tweak here and there. I keep these pieces right in my face a little bit straighter and I, if I wanna curl them a little bit more, I go back after the, I'm finished the whole look to kind of give it a little bit more of a shape. So you see how you have some ends sticking out? It's not really cute. So if I notice that they are kind of doing more sticking out, I'm just gonna run my flat iron and kind of curl them under. So that way they're not so pokey. Now for my pieces right along my um, frame, I'm going to kind of over direct them so that way they are away from my face. So I'm just going to curl and really kind of maneuver them like that. Not like that. So I want them just to be on the ends like that. Okay. I kind of look at how, like the flow of the curls. If they're, it seems to really be prominently turning this way, even though I'm doing alternating curls. I will try to always see how this one just looks super hard this way. I'm going to do this one at the top of it, away from it. So it gives it a little bit more dimension. Next curl. And you really want to smooth out the hair before you curl it so that way they don't come out really frizzy. Why you mad? Fix your face. Ain't my fault they all be jacking. Keep up. Players only. Come on. Put your pinky brings up to the moon. Girls, what y'all trying to do? 24 karat magic in the If you 
have a flat iron that you can adjust. I always typically try to go to a lower setting so that way, number one, I'm not burning the hair and because I'm pulling on it, I don't want to want to break the ends. And then if you also put it on a lower temperature, that shine in your hair is going to really amplify a little bit more. Wow, I'm kind of tongue-tied. <laughs> I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up. So many pretty girls around me and they're waking up the rocket. Keep up. Why you mad? Fix your face. Ain't my fault they all be jacking. Keep up. Players only. Come on. Put your fingers. Raise up to the moon. super easy, pretty quick. You just want to make sure too that you, um, whenever you're hairspraying, to kind of smooth out the top so you don't have any of those flyaways. If you have any questions, put them down below, or if there's anything specific you want to see on my channel, give me a shout and I'll be sure to accommodate those needs.